hello everyone welcome to the mathematics ma channel in this video we are going to solve another uh, interesting integral integral from 0 to infinity natural log of x sine of x square dx okay uh, how to start well uh, here uh, we have x square so i'm going to take x square is equal to uh, t then if we differentiate both sides so we have 2 times x dx is equal to dt also here we have x so uh, we should uh, isolate the x x we know the square root of uh, t well uh, now uh, we can plug in so uh, first here uh, let's take our integral is equal to i then uh, boundaries upper limit and uh, lower limit we know also uh, same as 0 to infinity uh, here natural log of x x we know the square root of uh, t square root of t then here uh, sine of uh, t then dx if we isolate the dx we know dt over 2 times x so here dt over 2 times x x we know the square root of uh, t okay uh, then here uh, in the numerator we have uh, natural log of square root of t we can write natural log of t to the one half then one half we can write inside uh, in front of the natural log so one half also in the denominator here two so uh, one over four we can write outside of the integral sign so one over four natural log of t times sine of t over here square root of t d t okay uh, we know any integral we can uh, write uh, by using any variable so here t now i'm going to use again x so 1 over 4 0 to infinity natural log of x sine of x over square root of x d x well uh, now we have uh, another integral so how to begin okay uh, now i'm going to recall the um, Merlin transform of sine of x uh, actually in a previous video uh, we discussed about Merlin transform of sine of x and we proved the identity so Merlin transform of sine of x sine of x we know this one we can write integral from 0 to infinity x to the s minus 1 sine of x uh, dx and we prove this one is equal to gamma of s times sine of pi s over 2 i will add the uh, link in the description and also make the card uh, that uh, Merlin transform of sine of x and here we know absolute value of s lower than to 1 as a next step uh, I'm going to uh, differentiate uh, this uh, both side uh, by uh, with respect to s so we have integral from 0 to infinity x to the s minus 1 uh, natural log of x times sine of x dx is equal to now here uh, we have gamma of s times sine of phi s over 2 so product of two functions so we know product rule so first uh, we should rewrite uh, gamma of s so gamma of s then the uh, derivative of sine of phi s over 2 we know cosine of cosine of phi s over 2 times phi over 2 because uh, we should multiply by uh, the coefficient of s according to chain rule uh, then here plus sine of sine of phi s over 2 times derivative of gamma of s so gamma dash of s okay uh, now here we have uh, pi over 2 gamma of s cosine of pi s over 2 plus here sine of pi s over 2 
times gamma dash of s so we use this identity many times so we know uh, gamma dash of s derivative of gamma function is equal to gamma of s times di gamma of s okay uh, now we have this identity uh, but um, i think uh, now uh, you should understand here if we plug in uh, if we substitute s is equal to one half what happened s is equal to one half so x to the minus one half means uh, in the denominator square root of x so here we will have this part nice okay then uh, when s is equal to one half our integral becomes integral from zero to infinity natural log of x times sine of x over the square root of x dx is equal to uh, now uh, here pi over 2 gamma of 1 half cosine of pi over 4 plus here uh, sine of pi over 4 times gamma of 1 half times di gamma of one half okay then here uh, pi over two uh, sorry gamma of one half here gamma of one half common factor and also cosine of pi over four we know is equal to sine of pi over four and it's equal to one over square root of two and gamma of one half we know actually gamma of one half is equal to we know square root of pi and sine of phi over four and cosine of phi over four is equal to one over square root of two so we can take the square root of phi over two as a common factor and here we have pi over two and uh, plus gamma of sorry plus di gamma of one half okay then here yeah, square root of pi sorry square root of pi over 2 here pi over 2 now di gamma of 1 half okay um, i um, solved this problem also in a previous video di gamma of 1 half we found the value it's equal to minus gamma minus 2 times natural log of 2 so if you uh, like to watch that video um, search the description i will add the link okay uh, then here uh, this integral so we know i is equal to 1 over 4 times this integral so we have uh, i is equal to 1 over 4 uh, times square root of pi over 2 times pi over 2 minus gamma minus 2 times natural log of 2 okay this is the answer if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching